Hey friends, we're playing Faith the Unholy Trilogy once again. And I need to start by apologizing because I've been sick the past few days. I'm not sure what's going on with me. But yeah, so if I don't sound like my usual self, that's why. Still happy you guys are here though, would not trade this time for the world. So in order to keep the playthrough interesting, I kind of checked in to see what exactly I was doing wrong when we got stuck last time and I know how to progress now. I know, make fun of me for it, but at least I'm being honest with you guys. I think it makes for a more interesting playthrough with better pacing anyways. Before we get back into Faith Chapter 2, I want to talk to you guys about something I've been thinking about recently. In your personal life, are you someone that can't say no? Like if a friend or family member asks you for help or asks you to go somewhere, like invites you out, and maybe it's not the best decision for your financial, physical, or emotional mental health, but you still find yourself agreeing or saying yes because you know, you're afraid it will somehow damage your relationship or that people will be disappointed in you. I know people that still struggle with that, and I used to struggle with that a lot more than I do right now. I wanted to bring it up because I wanted to tell you that your time is so valuable, and you cannot control how other people perceive your decisions, even when they're made with your best interest at mind. I bet you found yourself in situations before where you place so many outside burdens on yourself because you can't say no to people. And deep down it is goodness in your heart that causes you to respond that way but you have to look out for your own personal peace you have to it's so important i don't know i feel like i was rambling for a bit there but i was a bit passionate about it because i was thinking about it a lot this week i don't know hopefully that made sense without further ado here we are continuing faith the unholy trilogy chapter two okay so this was the part we were stuck on before and i want to kind of show you guys what we got going on here this oh no I've been wrong before. It's this circle here. Yes, so this circle is part of the puzzle. Um, and obviously we can't bring this up as like a note item. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to walk over symbols in the correct order. We have to go clockwise starting at the H symbol in the top right where the 2 o'clock would be. Um, that comes from a journal note. And I have it right here on my phone so that I can uh, do it in real time and we can just move on and see what else the story has for us. So I admit defeat for this puzzle, but um, yeah, hopefully you guys won't judge me too hard. So when nothing happens, that is a good thing, because if we mess up, we get eaten or attacked by the gamer. So I'm just going in a clockwise order here. Nothing happening is a good thing. Uh, this one. This one. This one. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. Mother of Demons. Okay, well. Hmm. Do I sound sick to you guys? I feel like I sound sick. I'm probably thinking about it too much, but I'm a big stickler for audio quality. Like whether or not it's, you know, doing the videos or recording the podcast, I, I really want to make sure that I'm coming through uh, at my best. Interesting. Do I have a map here? I don't think I do. I came out of what looks to be some sort of an outhouse? Oh! Okay, that was a deer. Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killings. Sterling, Connecticut. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nogales, and Troy Inglis are the name. Sorry if I butchered any of that. Are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Oh my goodness. Pandemonium. Pandemonium Regnant? I don't think I've ever seen that word before. Someone define that in the comments. <laughs> Pandemonium Regnant, two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated, 
They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. Hmm. The killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl by John Ward. That was chapter one um, our, of our adventure here. Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. Okay, we may, we may have a different interpretation of events. What's that? What's that noise? Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogales, and Inglis because, after all, they were degenerate devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserve. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. What? That's... N that's not what happened, was it? You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies, and then you chopped off their heads. Because everybody knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst put down again. Thou couldst not kill and Thou couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door. Her hand is at thy throat, yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium Regnant. Satani Vitae, Pandemonium Regnant. Is that why I didn't know what that word was? It's Latin. Oh no. I'm here, John. Oh! Is that Amy? Oh, what am I now? Oh my god. They're f jumping their car or fixing it or something? I can't move. Hello? What happened? There's an... Oh. What? What? I'm so stunned by these latest turn of events. I can't crawl up here? How do I... Can I, like... One more try? Wait, so am... Am I a- I'm not a monster. I, I didn't disguise myself as a priest. I thought I was killing ghosts, but that document said we were killing people. K 
Candy Tunnel? Death Awaits. This is such a cool game. All the people who recommended me play Faith the Unholy Trilogy... Gold Star. An eye, okay. So... Is that just graffiti on a column? Let's see what some of this stuff says over here. Guess there's nothing... Candy Tunnel. Oh, that's so eerie. Aki... Saying help. That's like it. Satan lives. Oh, okay. Who are you? Necro. Can I go this way? I don't think I can. Alright, there's probably some puzzles around here, I'm assuming. Read. Here? Here? Read. Don't. Wait. When... Okay, I think I have to put these together. When you see it... Don't... Move? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, I don't know what that's trying to tell me. Well, I know what it's trying to tell me. Ah! Don't move. Don't move. I thought it started at the pillar and the blood trail was leading up into the top room. That's not what that was telling us. That blood trail was telling us that it stumbled across the wall and hid behind the pillar. So when it jumped out at me like that, I was not expecting that even remotely. All right, here we go. Only one option, right? Head in the direction of the blood. Now what do we got here? When I was a boy, my, my grandma used to tell me old legends about the dragons, trolls, and demons that lived up in the mountains of Norway. In those old tales, the people were never strong enough to kill the monster, so instead they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it, keep it satisfied. It was like a deal with the devil, one sacrifice per year so that the beast would not come down from the mountain and slaughter the entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing with is not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the damn thing dragging what was left of Jenkins down into its lair. That's when I understood. The bums and the tweakers, the ones with grid, and the child prostitute runaways, they'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. It can have them, for all I care. Nobody wants them around, except maybe that thing. And I tell you what, I hope to God it never gets tired of them. Is that the thing we just saw? So wait, where do I go now? Okay, so I can't... Do I go back? Alright, well, I can't access that room for some reason, but maybe I can head to the left here? I can. Okay. I just followed the arrows on the, on the wall. Which, honestly, pretty good way of doing things. So we're just heading right down into the shit, huh? Literally. Man, this, like... I mean, things were creepy before, for sure, but... The game ramped up. Alright, those candles are back. 
Oh boy, let me explore a little bit first. Oh jeez. I have a feeling that... Oof. <gasps> a flashlight? Oh no. What? Here I come. I don't get it. Oh, I I keep forgetting. To do that. Oh, oh God. I don't know where he is. No, the kids! Or someone! I don't know if it's a kid. What? Oh. It's so dark. Alright, there we go. I don't know where he is. Oh! This is, like, actually really freaky. And the music... The atmosphere is not helping. Suffer, Suffer what? There are kids running around. There are kids running around. Oh shit, this is like really tense. What? Sorry, guys, I'm not talking much, I'm just focusing. Nice! Okay, good. Sometimes these boss fights are pretty tough, so I just need to focus for a bit. Appreciate it. So what does that do for us? Did that do anything? Did we save anyone? I imagine that was that thing that the- Are these like the addicts maybe? Running around? I'm sorry, God, please save me. Yeah, they went over and spray painted that. Okay. So I'm wondering if that was like an optional thing, because this was open before. Right? Oh, we basically need the flashlight, though. So, kinda, no. Not really optional. But I think the people running around were the... <sighs> the addicts and... prostitutes that people, or the note was referring to. What does that say? I don't know what that said. It's locked. What does this do? I'm so fascinated by this. It's locked, yeah. They hate the light? Oh, I see. It's like FNAF. Get away from me. Let me do my thing. I know y'all hate the light. Yeah, I know, and you're scared. Gamers are still running around. Man, I'm really cutting it close. I need to be more careful. I don't know 
what like what is this? You know? Like when they say they. Because they don't seem to be affected by my my cross. What did that do? What did that do? Get out of here. What did that do? Did that open a door or something? Oh, I'm so nervous! I just don't want to mess up. I know they hate the light, but okay, I think I got them all on that side. I think that just opened that door. That's probably how that worked. The flashlight's a little finicky in this game because it only goes in up, down, left, right direction, so I can't really see out of my peripheral. Oh, nice, got a key. Okay. So now what, I just bring it back? I don't know what any of that is. Upside down pentagram, little gamer, and me crawling around. Uh, well, I know that I can use this key, though. And luckily I wasn't grabbed by anybody. Alright. Um... Oh, that was so cool, though. Okay. I can do that. That was- that was actually kind of cool, though. <laughs> that was sick. Alright, where are you reciting, gamer? Right. That was my interpretation, too. Like, what- ch what choice were we left? And now we're painted as this murder. Oh! Yes. This is so cool. This is so cool, though. I shall behold the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the world by refuge. That, that, him, him saying that really kind of helped put things into perspective, too. Like, I feel like things are coming together. But I'm questioning, was that really our only choice? Alright, that's good. If they spawn on the left, that's really good for us. Oh, did I touch her on accident? My bad. Yep. I haven't seen that in a while, but, you know. Okay. Let's try this one more time. This is a very creepy animation here. They did very, very well. Alright. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem this time. I'm doing the, uh, one hand on WASD, other on the space bar. Also, no diagonal directions, as normal. So it definitely makes, like, positioning and turning around to make sure you're aimed in the right area. It just makes it a bit tougher, but that's fine. I'm glad none of them come from the bottom with the text box. Because that would be pretty tough to deal with. You'd have, you'd have much less time to react. Yes, deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver my... It's DiGiorno, not Deliver. 
So is it? I... <laughs> I forgot to protect the gamer. Alright, try again. I might not take those two attempts out, because that was actually kind of funny. I remove a lot of the attempts, but that was kind of funny, though. So I might leave that one in. I need to position myself basically right on top of it. Pause. I will save the world. He destroyed refuge and died for trace. I don't need him, I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. They said, it said protect him, and I just... I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't doing it. <laughs> but we're gonna exercise the nun from... Nun Massacre here. There shall no evil be found here. It is nuts how compelling of an atmosphere this game is able to deliver with such seemingly archaic visuals. It's just so stylistically strong. The atmosphere is palpable throughout the whole experience. And it's just, again, it's inspiring. Leave. Dude, I wish he wasn't so close to the door. Someone comes out of the right door, he's gonna get clapped. Pizzeria. Oh, not you. Where are you? Hello? Ah! I panicked. Billy? Mortis. Yes, Mortis. Okay, Mortis, yes! Alright, I got him. This is the final boss, for sure. You gotta be good with knowing what to do. I didn't expect the boss fights. First of all, I didn't think this game was really gonna have boss fights. I didn't expect them to be so involved. Ah! At least you slow. Wait, what happened to my, my buddy? I wanna know what happened to him. He was helping me. Is he gone? Nope, there he is. Alright. Oh, run! Oh. I don't think he... Bro, what are you... This... This boss, like, is just... So multi-phased. Come on. Where are you? And you're screaming. Ugh. Yes. I'm stressed. She's stressing me. She's like so close. There we go. Come on. I know this. She's screaming too. Oh, I almost got hit clapped there. Hit clapped, whatever. Hey. Come on. like so many small opportunities for damage here and then she goes invulnerable and she okay yes. damn this, this phase is tough 
All right, we got to be on it, Father Gamer. No. Spiritu. Oh, she can get John. How was John dodging the whole thing before? I, I could have sworn he got hit like 20 quintillion times. Okay, so this time we're gonna do it. Whatever happens to our guy happens. I'm not so sure it's not intended for him to lose here. So he's just gonna, if he bites it, he bites it. Sorry, father. Yeah, she, she walked right through him there. I'm not so sure he's supposed to. Either way, we're taking her down. Mark my words, this is like attempt number 18. Yeah, she she goes right through him. He's supposed to. He's supposed to drop dead. Forgive me, father, for I have gained. It has been three seconds since I ordered $100 worth of Robux on my mom's credit card. Okay, all right, quit dashing around. Okay, come on. I'm not getting, like, good hits in here. Did we... That was, like, next-gen animation. The morning breaks. John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Molly. Bad dream? I'm not going in there. Uh, okay. Then we won't. There's a letter. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath, Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malfus. Malfus? Not sure. I'm in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy. So do they need all three of the children? Amy was obviously possessed. That's who we had to kill in the woods. They ne need all three of the children to summon Malfus? That was Father Garcia, who we were just with. My nightmares are getting worse. My nightmares are getting worse. Ever since I left that house, I am haunted by visions of demons. I finished my work with Amy, but now the boys are in danger. Oh. This time I must not fail. Malfus must be stopped. As the profane Sabbath draws closer, the workers of Wow, this is Mist cool. Part three, the showdown this with will Malfus. Be my greatest test of faith yet. God have mercy, God on, have my mercy on my soul. Love that. I've been titling my videos. That. That's so cool. Part two is awesome. Go forth with faith. Let's go. Awesome. Okay. Did you guys enjoy part two? I definitely did. Um, game's taking an exciting direction. The pieces of the puzzle are coming together, although there are many different types of demons as we've seen. Malthus is going to be a threat unlike anything we've ever faced in part three. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much. You know this. And I will speak with you very soon in the next episode of our faith series. Uh, be safe until then. Take care.